one of the biggest rematches in UFC history takes place Saturday. And though UFC 200 was expected to be the promotion's biggest event of all time, UFC 202 might just rump it. A welterweight rematch of one of the most memorable fights in UFC history tops the event, which takes place at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas with a main card on pay-per-view following prelims on FS1 and UFC Fight Pass. Training featherweight title holder Conor McGregor 19-2-3 MMA 7-1 UFC will once again move up in weight in hopes of avenging his lone octagon defeat. The second round submission to the Ultimate Fighter 5 winner Nate Diaz 19-10 MMA 14-8 UFC at UFC 196 in March. Both men are among the most accomplished fighters on the UFC roster, and the next chapter of their heated rivalry will unfold Saturday in Sin City. For more on the numbers behind the significant headliner, as well as the other 11 matchups slated for the card, check out 85 pre-fight facts about UFC 202. Main event Nate Diaz Diaz enters the event with back-to-back victories for the first time since 2012. Diaz won the only rematch of his career when he defeated Gray Maynard at the Ultimate Fighter 18 finale in November 2013. Diaz is 3-2 when fighting in the UFC welterweight division. The odds of eight stoppage victories in UFC lightweight competition are tied for fifth most in divisional history behind Joe Laws on 12 BJ Penn 9 Donald 0 Nate 9 and Jim Miller 9. The odds of 11 stoppage victories in UFC slash WEC lightweight competition are tied for second most in combined divisional history behind 0 Nate 13. The odds of 9 submission victories in UFC competition are the most in the company's modern era. Royce Gracie holds the all-time submission record at 11. Diaz is one of two modern era fighters to earn four consecutive submission victories in UFC competition. Emil Mag, who also accomplished the feat, extended his streak to five. Diaz's 25 submission attempts in UFC competition are fourth most in company history behind Miller 35, Chris Little 31 and Lawson 26. The Oz's 238 significant strikes landed against Cyril Nate at UFC 141 stand as the single fight UFC record. The Oz's 14 UFC fight night bonuses are tied with Lawson for the most in company history. Codner McGregor McGregor enters the event after suffering his first loss since November 2010. McGregor is one of five European-born fighters in UFC history to win an undisputed belt. Michael Bisping, Joe Anna Dirch Edge Side. B.A.S. Rutten and Andre Arlovsky also accomplished the feat. McGregor competes outside of Europe for the seventh time in his pro career. He's 5-1 when fighting in the U.S. McGregor has earned 17 of his 19 career victories by knockout. He's earned 13 of those finishes in the first round. McGregor is one of seven fighters in UFC history to earn five or more consecutive knockouts. McGregor's six knockout victories in UFC featherweight competition are the most in divisional history. McGregor's six knockdowns landed in UFC featherweight competition are tied with Max Holloway for most in divisional history. McGregor's 13 second knockout of Jose Aldo at UFC 190 marked the fastest title fight stoppage in UFC history. McGregor's six fight night bonuses in UFC featherweight bouts are tied with Charles Oliveira for most in divisional history. McGregor is one of four fighters in UFC history to earn six consecutive fight night bonuses. Diaz, Lawson and Ronda Rousey also accomplished the feat. He can be the first to earn seven straight with a bonus at UFC 202. Co-main event Anthony Johnson and Anthony Johnson 22-25 MMA, 13-25 UFC is 5-1 since he returned to the UFC for a second stint in April 2014. His only defeat in that stretch came in a title fight against Daniel Cormier at UFC 187. Johnson has earned 10 of his 12 UFC victories by knockout. Johnson's 10 knockout victories in UFC competition are tied with Chuck Liddell for third most in company history behind Vitor Belfort 12 and Anderson Silva 11. Johnson's 12 knockdowns landed in UFC competition are tied for 5th most in history behind Silva 17, Liddell 14, Lyotomo Chida 13 and Melvin Jai Ellard 13. Johnson is the only fighter in UFC history to earn for knockout victories in less than one minute each. Johnson's 13 second knockout of Chad Reiner at UFC Fight Night 10 stands as the fastest knockout by a debuting UFC welterweight. Johnson's five first-round knockout victories in UFC welterweight competition are the most in divisional history. 
he hasn't competed in the weight class since October 2011. Johnson absorbs 1.65 significant strikes per minute in UFC light heavyweight competition, the second lowest rate among active fighters in the weight class behind Ryan Bader at 1.49. Johnson has never lost a fight that's gone to a decision. Glover Tyke Sarah Glover Tyke Sarah 25 to Forum MMA 8 to 2 UFC 36 is the oldest of the 24 fighters scheduled to compete at the event. Tight Sarah's three-fight UFC winning streak in light heavyweight competition is tied for the third longest active streak in the division behind John Jones 13 and Nikita Krylov 5. Tight Sarah has earned seven of his eight UFC victories by stoppage. Tight Sarah's three-fight stoppage streak in UFC competition is tied for the third longest active streak in the company behind Krylov 5 and Maribeth Tysuma 4. Tight Sarah's seven stoppage victories in UFC competition since 2012 are second most among current fighters in the company behind Serona 8. Tight Sarah's seven stoppage victories in UFC light heavyweight competition are third most in divisional history behind Jones 9 and Liddell 9. Tight Sarah's three submission victories in UFC light heavyweight competition are tied for third most in divisional history behind Jones 5 and Renato Sabral 4. Tight Sarah has landed 88% of his significant strikes in UFC light heavyweight competition to his opponent's head, the largest proportion among active fighters in the division. Remaining main card Donald's Arrow Nay Donald's Arrow Nay 30-7 MMA, 17-4 UFC makes his 32nd UFC slash WEC appearance, the most in the combined history of the two organizations. Sero Nay's 32 appearances in UFC slash WEC slash Pride slash Strike Force competition are tied for fourth most in the combined history of the four organizations behind Wanderley Silva 40 Dan Henderson 39 and Mirko Filipovic 35. Sero Nay is 2-0 since he moved up to the UFC welterweight division in February. Sero Nay has earned both of his UFC welterweight victories by stoppage. Sero Nays 23 victories in UFC slash WEC slash Pride slash Strike Force competition are tied with Filipovic for third most in the combined history of the four organizations behind Silva 27 and Henderson 26. Sero Nays 17 victories in UFC competition are tied with Matt for fourth most in company history behind Bisping 19 George Saint Pierre 19 and Matt Hughes 18. Sero Nays 15 stoppage victories in UFC slash WEC competition are the most in the combined history of the two organizations. Sero Nays 17 UFC slash WEC fight night bonuses are the most in the combined history of the two organizations. Rick Story Rick Story's 19 to 8 MMA 12 to 6 UFC enters the event on his first three fight winning streak since 2010. He'd previously alternated wins and losses over eight UFC appearances. Story's three-fight UFC winning streak and welterweight competition is tied for the third longest active streak in the division behind Stephen Thompson 7 and Maya 5. Story has earned 8 of his 12 UFC victories by decision. Oppositely, he has suffered 7 of his 8 career losses by decision. Story's six split decision results in UFC competition are tied with Clay Guida 4 second most in history behind Gleisen tight bout 7. Story is one of six fighters in UFC history to earn two arm triangle choke submission victories. Hyun Jiu Emirate Hyun Jiu Emirate May 1st 13 MMA 3 to 2 UFC has earned his past 11 victories by stoppage. He hasn't won a fight by decision since his first career victory. Emirate has earned all three of his UFC victories by knockout. Emirate lands 5.15 significant strikes per minute in UFC welterweight competition. The third most among active fighters in the weight class behind Alan Jubin 5.31 and Court McGee 5.25. Emirate is one of two fighters in UFC history to win two consecutive fights by knockout stemming from a knee strike. Diego Alves also accomplished the feat. Tim Means July 1, 25 MMA, 7-4 UFC is 5-2 since he returned to the UFC for a second stint in May 2014. Preliminary card Cody Garbrandt Cody Garbrandt's 9-0 MMA, 4-0 UFC 3 fight UFC winning streak in bantamweight competition is tied for the second longest active streak in the division behind champ Dominic Cruz 5. Garbrandt has earned 8 of his 9 career victories by knockout. That includes 3 of his 4 UFC wins. Takeya Mizugaki Takeya Mizugaki September 2nd 21 MMA, 8-4 UFC competes in his 13th UFC bantamweight bout.
tied with Yuri Faber for most appearances in divisional history. His total fight time of 3 hours 52 minutes and 32 seconds in UFC slash WEC bantamweight competition is most in combined divisional history. Mizugaki's eight victories in UFC bantamweight competition are tied for third most in divisional history behind Faber 9 and TJ Dillashaw 9. Mizugaki's 10 victories in UFC slash WEC bantamweight competition are tied for second most in combined divisional history behind Cruz 12. Mizugaki has earned seven of his eight UFC victories by decision. He has defeated his opponent by going the distance in 15 of 21 career victories. Mizugaki's 152 significant strikes landed against Mom Fan at UFC Fight Night 33 stand as the single fight UFC slash WEC bantamweight record. Mizugaki and Fan combined for 252 significant strikes landed in their bout. A single fight UFC slash WEC bantamweight record. Mizugaki's 16 takedowns landed in UFC bantamweight competition and are tied for third most in divisional history behind Cruz 23 and Faber 21. Raquel Pennington Raquel Pennington's 725 MMA 4-2 UFC to fight UFC winning streak in women's bantamweight competition is tied for the third longest active streak in the division behind Juliana Pena 4 and Amanda Nunes 3. Pennington's two submission victories in UFC women's bantamweight competition are tied for second most in divisional history behind Rousey 3. Pennington is one of four fighters in UFC history to earn a bulldog choke submission victory. She accomplished the feat against Ashla Evans Smith at UFC 181. Pennington and opponent Elizabeth Phillips 5 2 3 MMA 1 2 2 UFC have suffered all four of their combined UFC losses by split decision. Ronda Marcos Ronda Marcos 6 2 3 MMA 2 2 2 UFC has alternated wins and losses over her past seven career bouts. Marcos has completed at least one takedown against all four of her UFC opponents. Courtney Casey Courtney Casey 5 2 3 MMA 1 2 2 UFC competes in her second UFC bow in a 38 day stretch. She defeated Christina Stanciu by first round TKO at UFC Fight Night 91 on July 13. Casey has earned all five of her career victories by stoppage. Casey has earned a fight of the night bonus in two of her three UFC appearances. Casey's two fight night bonuses for UFC women's strong lead bouts are tied for second most in divisional history behind champ Jibder's Edge side 3. Casey's victory over Stan CU at 2.36 of round 1 at UFC Fight Night 91 stands as the third fastest stoppage in UFC straw lead history. Neil Magny Neil Magny 18-2 for MMA, 11-3 UFC is 10-1 in his past 11 UFC appearances. The lone defeat in that stretch came to Maya. Magny 3 fight UFC winning streak and welterweight competition is tied for the third longest active streak in the division behind Thompson 7 and Maya 5. Magny's 11 victories in UFC competition since 2013 are the most of any fighter in the company. Magny is the only fighter in modern UFC history to make five or more octagon appearances in consecutive years. He went 4-1 in 2015 year after going 5-0 in 2014. Magny's five UFC victories in 2014 tied Roger Wehrta's record for most octagon wins in a calendar year. Wehrta accomplished the feat in 2007. Magny's 100 significant ground strikes landed against Hector Lombard at UFC Fight Night 85 stand as the single fight UFC record. Magny's 142 total strikes landed in the second round of his victory against Lombard stand as the third most in the single UFC round. Lawrence Larkin 17-2-5 MMA, 4-2-5 UFC is 3-1 since he dropped to the UFC welterweight division in January 2015. Colby Covington 9-1 MMA, 4-1 UFC has earned all three of his UFC stoppage victories by submission. Marvin Vettori 10-2 MMA, 0-2-0 UFC 22, is the youngest of the 24 fighters scheduled to compete at the event. For more on UFC 202. Check out the UFC rumors section of the site.